Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do May readings for all zodiac signs. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so if it applies to you, that's awesome. If it doesn't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below, as well as um, if you're inquiring about the mystery healing boxes and the pendulums created by myself and Crystal. Use the same info. This video is going to be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's shaking with you in the month of May. All right, Sag. I think you're dealing with trying to get over some disappointment. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck. Sag, we have the Nine of Cups. This is a wish being fulfilled. A yes card. So what are you wishing for, Sag? Let's find out. Sagittarius, we're going to start off with the Three of Swords. This is heartache. This is disappointment, despair. Some people could say it's a third party, you know, interference. Maybe. Maybe not. This is sorrow. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you've got the King of Swords. King, Queen, doesn't matter. It's an energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone that takes on these properties. Now, the King of Swords is somebody who's very analytical. Their emotions take a back seat. You know, they're about facts, figures. If they don't, take, if they don't take their own emotions into consideration, Sag, they're not going to take yours in. Okay, this person could be kind of cold, maybe, or come off that way. So maybe this is, you know, what's this heartache is about. Maybe somebody didn't take your feelings into consideration. It's sad. Maybe you wish they did. Now, in your foundation, you get a lot of major panic here. In your foundation... You have the Wheel of Fortune, also known as Karma. But in the upright, Sag, this is things going your way. You know, things fall into place. Might think you're on a lucky streak. And in your foundation, I do think, you know, that things start to fit together. Whether it's a partnership, relationship, love ship, any of those ships. And you thought things were turning and maybe progressing with this person. But your crowning card here, Sag, you have death. And death is a transformation of something. Something dies. Something ends. But it ends so something new can begin. Death demands change, Sag, and permanent change. So this could have been a relationship that you thought was going somewhere and it turned out to be a loss or it didn't turn out the way you wanted. It transformed into something else because in your recent past, Sag, there you go. You get the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this is feeling bound and tied to something or someone that you never think is going to change or end. It's codependency. It's addiction. It's obsession. Sad. It's also about illusions. Maybe somebody did give you the illusion, you know, that this is, you know, going to work out. That's great. 
And all the while, this person was cold. Calculated just came to my head. They knew what they were doing, Sarge. Maybe they got you caught up in your feelings. And then for some reason, it changed. It changed, Sag, because something had to change. This illusion. Remember, Sag, you are not bound and chained, tied to anything or anyone. Maybe you saw past that illusion. Now, going into your future, Sag, you have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is like the apprenticeship card. This is learning a new skill, you know, a quality of craft. This kid's got his nose to the grindstone. Doesn't really see anything else around him. Just the work ahead of him. So, Sag, maybe going into the future, that you just dive right into work. Or you dive into perfecting you. Making you a better person. The best Sag you can be. Working on those heartbreaks, those sorrows. Or you could be just diving in the work so you don't have to think about them. Now, how people see you in your environment. Sag, they see you as the Page of Swords. Pages are being messengers. Or they are messages, I should say. It's also a spy card. So, people could be looking at you, Sag, like you want to communicate something. You want to say something. But he comes into the room with a sword down. Kind of seeing what's going around. And he doesn't deliver this communication. Not yet. So, Sag, people could be looking at you like you want to say something, but you're not. The page is also known as a spy card, so Sag, maybe after some heartbreak here, that you're going on someone's social media, seeing what they're up to, or trying to find out what they're up to, and this could go the other way around. Somebody could be spying on you. But this is how people see you, Sag. And I think it's, you know, you're not communicating something. At least not yet. Now, in your environment, Sag, you have temperance, which is also your card of Sagittarius. This is about balance. She's halfway in water and she's halfway out. This is getting control of your emotions. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. It's also a card of being patient, Sag, being patient. So, Sag, maybe if you did dive into work and you weren't taking in, you know, absorbing whatever heartbreak or disappointment this is, maybe you should take a moment and get your head and your heart on the same page. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Sag, you have the Ten of Cups. Also what I call, ride that unicorn card. This is emotional fulfillment at its finest. Wife's great, husband's fine, kids are petting the unicorns. But it's like bliss. It's like having it all. Don't be fierce, sis. Sad, this, is, this is a hope of, of finding emotional, you know, contentment. You know, being happy and fulfilled. And there is hope. Sag, there is hope. See past the illusion. If something didn't work out, it wasn't supposed to work out. Karma. Now, usually, there is a, you know, a lesson to be learned while going with this. And that's what transforms. Here, Satch, 
Maybe the way you look at somebody. The way you feel about somebody. Take it as a learning curve, Sag, because your outcome card is the Ten of Wands. Ten being at the end of a cycle. And this is taking all your knowledge, all your know-how, all your experiences, and moving forward with them. This guy is very close to dropping all these wands, this burden, this heavy load. So, Sag, if you are carrying a heavy load of emotions, okay, Take that time to balance yourself out. Get your head and your heart on the same page. Because when you do, you'll be able to drop this load and then pursue the things that actually really do emotionally fulfill you. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.